Hi, thanks for joining me on Learning with Natural Hair. This um, video that I'm getting ready to do is a video request, and it was to do one of the hairstyles um, that I did previously. <laughs> and so it was a, the elegant updo one. Um, so what you want to do is first um, take out some tools that you'll need. I have a gore bristle brush, um, I have a comb, some bobby pins, and I have a Demon brush just in case. Then you can kind of fancify it with some little claw clips. Just make sure this is going. Okay, good. Okay, so what you do, this style, it, it looks kind of complicated, but it's not that bad. So I just took out a um, couple of French braids I had. So you just want to kind of get your hair going toward the middle of your head. So first, I'm, right now, I'm just getting my hair going in the right direction. You want it to end up right in the middle area of your head. So it's cute. And um, my hair is not bone straight at the roots, so um, it might not look as straight as some would like to see the style, but okay. So I kind of got that going. You can kind of take a brush to it some if you want. Be gentle if you can. Pushing. Okay, now on the front I had put a couple of flat twists. And so just part off the hair where you want the flat twist to go. You're going to do a couple of them so make it wide enough for two. Like this. And then you part it again, so you can make two separate flat twists. You want to move one of those sections out of the way for now. Just going to clip it. And the way you do a flat twist is like if you're doing a normal twist, but it's like a French braid. So you're twisting, but you're picking up hair as you go along. So I'm going to come closer. Hopefully you can see this. Twist. Picking up some hair as I go. Twist. Picking up some more hair as I go. Twist pick up some more hair, twist, pick up some more, and you just continue that process. So just keep twisting like that till you get to the end of your part. So that's the first one, and you can make it looser than that if you don't want it so tight. Um, flat twist, if you don't twist them too tightly at the end, it might just loosen up on its own some anyway. Um, I just kind of twist that and if you want to stop it right now so it doesn't unravel like mine just started doing take a bobby pin and just kind of hide it we want to start start at the end where you want your twist to be held in place and just I'm um, just sticking it under the under the flat twist you don't want it sticking out like that because you want to kind of hide it so just stick it under like okay and so it's holding that twist in place and then you do the next one so grab two strands start twisting and then pick up some hair when you come back around pick up some hair again pick up some hair again pick up some more hair and so forth. Okay. And you want to bobby pin that in as well. Okay. After you do that, then make your hair come, you want to keep your hair coming toward the middle of your head.
and you want to secure this section down with bobby pins. Let me make sure this is still going. Okay, good. I rented this camera from my school <laughs> because I left my video camera um, in another state where my family is. And so I didn't bring it with me and my hair was straight and I knew I needed to do this video. So what you start doing now is just um, making your hair come to the middle like you're doing a mohawk but except it's not going down your head this way it's going across your head and so you just kind of randomly pin pieces of your hair just pull it back and pin it in place like it doesn't have to be real I mean I like things to look neat and so you can take your time with this this section if you want it to look more even but I'm just pulling hair back like you would if you were putting it in a ponytail, but instead of using ponytail holders, you're using hair clamps. So I'll just pull it back and put a pin in there. And that's what you do across the middle section of your head. Pull it back, put a pin in there. And if you're worried about this part where your bangs are sticking out, you can take another bobby pin and just kind of just kind of grab those ends and put them down like that. Or you could kind of, um, you could find another way if you want to, to pin this part down. You could twist it on through and kind of pin it up against this, this twist right here, this flat twist. And so, I just pin down the top part and I'm going to do the same thing in the back, bring it up into like a horizontal mohawk. So just pin it up like I just did the front, just putting pins in. Just keep pinning. It's like you're making a ponytail, but you're using hair clamps to hold your hair instead of a ponytail holder. And you see how it's getting this? You can even wear this as a style. There's the more than one way, more than one thing you can do with this. Like if you want, you could kind of tuck this under itself and pin it up like that. You could spiral these. There's different things you can do with this basic foundation of a hairstyle. Before this particular style, we're going to do some flat twists. One, one flat twist going this way and the other one coming this way. So, you're working with the hair that's loose and you don't, if you don't want extra strands loose, make sure you pin those up like this one here. So I'm going to put a pin in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so what you do is you want to take like half of this, half of this loose hair, and you start on one side or the other, it doesn't matter, and you just flat twist like you just did in the front. Do a flat twist going toward the middle. So start twisting and picking up hair. Twist and pick up hair. Twist, pick up hair, twist. Keep going until you get about to the middle. There. And then you can either use bobby pins or you can use one of these claw clips and just clip it in place. And you do the same thing to the other side. You can use that same clip and pick up the other side. You can add clips.
And that's kind of how you achieve that hairstyle. I know it's not as perfect as the first time I did it. Um, I'm kind of going fast with this. And oops, there are some areas that can use some more smoothing down, like on my edges. And the twist could even be tighter, but that's the idea of how you obtain that hairstyle. So I hope that helps you. Thank you for requesting it. Sorry for all the time it took to get this video to you. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.